the idea that this deal is going to help uh, customers' bills is absolutely ridiculous. The very public war of words over the city's BG&E conduit contract heated up as it played out live via Zoom in front of the city's Senate delegation in Annapolis. We feel it was a very good deal that was passed this week. City Council President Nick Mosby and controller Bill Henry told the panel Mayor Brandon Scott broke the rules, made the deal in private, and then pushed it through the city's spending arm without a quorum. There's nothing in plain uh, language in the Baltimore City Charter uh, of the Board of Estimates that allows the mayor to do uh, what he did. I am open to this proposal if I can be shown that the numbers work. No one has shown me that. Opponents also argued the agreement lines the pockets of a private company while raising rates for city residents. Deputy City Solicitor Stephen Salisbury stood in for the mayor at the hearing. We think this is the best deal for the city. The rates are going to go up but this would allow them to not go up as much. State senators questioned why there's no requirement in the deal to include minority and women-owned businesses. I can't for the life of me figure out why we didn't take an advantage of making sure that this was an obligation on behalf of the provider. The city's lawyer conceded they're relying on BG&E to do the right thing. I think it's fair to say that those are voluntary goals, but again, based on the fact that they have regularly been exceeded, we felt comfortable. But others countered, it's not just about who's hired to do the work, it's about the work itself. What community is chosen to have extensions, have upgrades, have uh, new material? That is all uh, totally up to this private entity. No decisions were made, no votes were taken on this issue at this hearing today. However, there was some talk that the discussion will continue offline. At Baltimore City Hall tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL-TV 11 News.